So I'm giving back the Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to find a way to get one of these. <laughs> What's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here I am yet again with Simi and Panda. What's good, man? About to get it in. Yes, sir. Yeah, at my house this time. That's right. Yeah, yeah it's getting up close and personal at Simeon's house in his very own which yeah. I had, to, had a peek at before we started rolling and it is beautiful Thank you. Um, in, in the outdoors. I mean, not to mention the house, also certainly making a statement here. Um, happy for your success. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you know, you're you. a good dude. I'm happy to see you uh, thrive. And today we're gonna hit chess. Yes. He has some 175 pound dumbbells that have been collecting dust. <laughs> Cowboys yeah. all over him. Like I said to him, look, man, I've got these 175s. I haven't used them yet. And um, I don't think I'm gonna use them today but Larry is, you know, and it's great that they're gonna get oh, yeah. some use, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll make sure you get your money's worth out of them. Yeah, 100%. Right. <laughs> <laughs> dope, dope. All right, let's get to work then. Let's go. Hell yeah. So what do you normally do for mobility? Mobility? Do, on, a, on a chest day, for example. So even on a chest day, I yeah. like to do dynamic stretching from head to toe. Yeah. That means opening up my hips. Yeah. Uh, even though I'm not squatting. Yeah. Right, because when I bench, I try and get as much of an arch as possible to reduce that range of motion. Okay. Which is legal in powerlifting competition. Yeah. So I'm gonna use every advantage I can. Yeah. Um, and I switched everything else as well. Just to, uh, even right now, I'm definitely cold because we're outdoors. Yeah. But even if I wasn't, I want to get a little sweat going before I start. Do you ever do cardio to, to warm up? Never. Never? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just started doing it like um, more so because I, 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 <clears throat> I found that when I add in cardio at the end of a session, sometimes you just want to go home. Right. And yeah. I found it, that I was able to, if I do it before my session, it's done. <clears throat> or at least I'll do half of it. So I'll do like a quick 20 minutes and then maybe go back to it after. But at least I know I've banked 20 minutes of cardio mm -hmm. before my session. And I used to not do it because I used to think by doing cardio, I'm going to use my energy and I'm not going to be as effective when I'm training. But that's not been the case at all. You know, it's like I'll, I'll, I'll break a little sweat by doing like the Stairmaster for 20 minutes on a high level. I come off and I'm, I'm warm, you know, so. Yeah. And has it hindered your strength at all? It hasn't, not at all. I feel good. Like, I come off and then like, I'm ready to go. Okay. Ready to work, you know? And I saw you posting in your stories how many calories you're burning. Yeah, it's just become a habit. It's become a habit of you know, just like, I'll finish the session, I'll record, I, I start the, uh, the, the tracking of, of what I'm doing. And so, say for example, when I start with a Stairmaster, I tap Stairmaster on the app. Uh, when I finish and I move on to doing weight training, I'll select weight training. And then by the end of it, I just, um, yeah, I've had a habit of just taking a picture and it's become a habit and it's like, it's a nice way of me keeping track of where I'm at and just sharing what I'm doing, you know. So. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Makes sense. So about like 850 calories or so on average. Yeah. I have not been stalking his yeah. stage. Yeah, I tell you, yeah. so, so what that includes is again, the cardio. So it includes 20 minutes of cardio on like the Stairmaster level, like level nine. I'm already sweating when I come off that. Then I'm doing, depending on the day, an hour, hour and a half of weight training. But um, I'm then doing calves at the end of my weight training and some abs oh. as well. So that's the thing, like uh, even when I was filming the other day, um, I shot a shoulders video. And normally I, like when we, we finished the shoulders workout and normally that's it, we'll cut, off, cut the video, but I still go on to do my abs and cardio. And I thought, you know what, let me just show them like this isn't the end of my session. Like yeah. I've showed you a shoulder session, cool, but I don't end my session there. So I added, um, to the, remember when we done that video, I added my, my, I showed the calves, I showed me doing shoulders. So my session can go on beyond just the muscle group that I'm working, you know? So yeah, and in the end, it can be 800, it can be a thousand, you All know? Right. Um, but that's, yeah, that's two hours work, two hours work. Yeah. On average. Hour 45 to two hours. Yeah, about the same here. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. like with abs yeah. and cat every workout. Yeah. 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 I try to do that myself as well. Yeah. Yeah. I and generally, you, have you tracked it at all? I haven't tracked my calories. Okay. So I never, it should be, it should it'll probably be the same. Probably be the, yeah. be the same if you, if you added the cardio at the beginning as well. But yeah. All right. Let me get a quick set in with the 70s. Flat. Actually, not 70s. I'll go even a bit like 45. I was going to say like 70s straight away. <laughs> he, let me tell you guys, I know Larry's strong. And like his warm up's gonna be different to mine, but I warm up light, light, <laughs> like super light. I just need to ease into it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am easing into it. I did jump the gun with seven. So. Talk me 
me through like the um, rep ranges leading up to a big lift on dumbbells specifically. Sure. So, for example, this is my first warm up set with the, well, I'd say my second. Yeah. And I'll get between eight to 10 reps. Yeah. Until I'm about two warm up sets out from my top set. Right. So okay. I won't do a set of eight, for example, with the the 140s, 150s, yeah, yeah. right? I'll just do uh, two warm sets out, like about two to four reps yeah. to conserve energy for yeah. the top set. Oops, yeah. sorry. Um, but the first two warm sets, I am doing like eight to 10 reps. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, my objective is, at least for the first compound moment, which today is heavy dumbbells, yeah. try to conserve energy for that top set. Of course. But also still be warmed up enough to do it. So now like, I do a set with the hundreds. Um, I'll do a set of eight with that. Okay. And then that following set after, yeah. I'll just do like four reps. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll do my top set 175 to 140s. Did you um, bring dumbbells back? Right, so it wasn't until a PR athlete of mine started doing heavy dumbbells, Daniel Rajov, that I learned how to lean back on the flat dumbbell press. Uh, so pre previously, I didn't know how to do it. What do you mean when you say lean back? So Daniel, which what I do now as well, after seeing him successfully do up, he does, he's done the 250s, right? This guy I'm talking Jeez, about. Jeez, 250s. He's done 250s, yeah. 250s. He benches just as much as me, but he's mastered the art of the flat dumbbell press. Yeah. So in doing so, he'll have him here. Yeah. He'll fall back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, the full back. Yeah, that's, that's important. Getting that right. Yeah. 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 See, I never yeah. got that right. Yeah. I never got that right. So yeah. I, because of that, just do incline press. And you know what the crazy thing is? Literally, that could be the difference between you progressing in strength on your dumbbells because you're going to get to a certain amount and if you can't get that, get that right, that's it. That's right. That's it. Literally, like we spoke about before we started filming, having it past you is not the same. You need to, you know, roll back with it and get that first one. So yeah, no, I hear that, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. And so I would purposely avoid flat dumbbell press because mm. I said, ah, I can't fall back with yeah. even the 160s, yeah. right? I blow my shoulder out because I was yeah. doing it improperly. Yeah. And I walked up to the 250s actually on the incline press, mm -hmm. but I wanted to see what I can do on the flat dumbbell press. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I wanted to hit, within a few months of training, 200 for 12. That's what Ryan Coleman did. Okay. So it's just a target. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna keep me seen motivated. Everyone's video a thousand times and love it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, so is that the target then? That is the target, yeah. And you're at, you're at what now, four, five? Uh, I've been six. Six, okay. I started at four. Yeah. I'm at six. Yeah. Um, I think within a couple of months, I'll be able to get to like 10. Okay. But let's see, I'm not looking to increase my dosages or anything. People know I'm on TRT. Uh, so I don't want to add in drugs to the mix or up the dose. Are you going to do the 12 or are you going to try to go beyond the 12? Um, I'm going to try and... Because you know what? You know we've all seen that video. In that video, yeah. Ronnie does the 12 and then it's... <coughs> like there was more in the tank. Ah! Uh -oh. ah! Wait, wait. <laughs> there was plenty more in the tank. Uh, it was fair enough. <laughs> so it can't be just 12 then. No, it, can't it has be. to be either 12 yeah. or more in the tank yeah. or yeah. 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be like that last rep can't be a struggle. Because like, uh, yeah. he literally was like, eh. <laughs> you know, so. And you know, before yeah. I do my next set, people compare me occasionally to Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. But if Ronnie Coleman wanted to focus on strength, make that a priority, be a strength yeah. athlete, he yeah. would far exceed what I've done. Yeah. He was doing nearly what I've done just in his pastime for fun yeah. with his main priority being bodybuilding. <laughs> yeah, he didn't care. I mean, he was still passionate yeah. lifting heavy, yeah. but if he made it his priority, yeah. it would like if I made bodybuilding my priority, yeah. how yeah. different yeah. I would look, right? Yeah. So all due respect to Ronnie, because he really yeah. did both exceptionally yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. He was at the yeah. highest in his game on both, yeah. you know? It's very true, man, very true. Because I never made it to the yeah. pro level in bodybuilding, yeah. right, for example. Yeah. But he made to the Olympia stage. And done this on the side. <laughs> and still, <laughs> the best trip on the side. Like world record breaking strength <laughs> yeah. on the side, yeah. <laughs> and all three lifts, except bench, even bench press, yeah, yeah. all three yeah. lifts.
straight there. We're, we're there now. Yeah, we're there at the top <laughs> set. We have arrived. <laughs> Uh, Adam would know. I think I did like 10 last time I did these. Yeah. Uh, a bit higher, actually, bro? Yeah, my God, my dad should be good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I think 12 would be a good number. 12 plus. 12 plus, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Lean back. Yep. Lean back. Five. Oh. But um, it's been a while, you know, so we'll see. Okay. The thing I love about dumbbells is the worst case scenario, it doesn't go up, you drop it down your sides, you're fine. <laughs> so true. there's never too much to be worried about, you know? It's not like a, a squat where the only way is down, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. Or a bar bun you just trapped there. Yeah, so. Right, yeah. When's the last time you done heavy dumbbells like this? Oh, it's gonna be a few weeks ago. Oh, no. A few months ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's been a, a few months ago. Okay. But you doing barbell bench or? Yeah, yeah barbell bench. Um, yeah, mostly barbell and then machines. Hmm. But yeah, um, I just haven't done like a flat bench for a little while. Hmm. But even when I did, I'd normally probably stop at 150s and just rep out. Hmm. Fair enough. Like. Makes sense. <sighs> <clears throat> Like, you know when you do a big lift, so you still get like the butterflies of excitement. And you know like when you're doing a heavy, heavy. Yeah, if I'm going for a PR, no doubt. Yeah. 100%, yes. I love that feeling. Yeah. yeah it just keeps me going. <laughs> <laughs> keeps me going. You take it yourself or you need help? Uh, I'm gonna try it myself, cause I just, uh, I, I feel good. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. There it is. Yes. Push. Yep. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Not bad at all. For a few months I didn't touch it. Yeah, no, I love dumbbells because like, like I said, I could do that with no one here. No spot. And then I fell, it's fine, there's no danger. Yeah. You know, which is which is dope, which is what you want if you want to be someone that trains heavy on your own, you know, so. You always get that dumbbell yeah. rack too. I see Eddie Hall use it. Yeah, yeah. That self-lift dumbbell yeah, rack. Yeah, yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be pretty cool. I'm, I've never seen it with my own two eyes. Yeah, no, I, but I've seen, yeah. I've seen, seen it, him use it. But if you're a man. You <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? you got, like, <laughs> do you know what? There's a, like for me, just the, get it onto my knees, I feel like you're starting, you're feeling the weight. Yeah. Like I'm feeling, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lean back, that drop part as well. Like when I drop back, and as you even heard me, heard me call it, I just wanted to make sure, because it might look like um, I'm maybe I'm too low or I, I did, yeah. It, but I'm feeling it, I, I know whether the strength's gonna be there from there, as opposed to if it was passed at the top. Like, there's just something about that, that having, doing the rollback, and then being like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, kind of thing, so. Yeah, man. Once you've done it, is it done or do you repeat it? Because yeah. for me personally, I like, now that I've done that, I feel like oh, I'm in the zone. I want to go a couple more times with that weight. Oh, with that same weight? Yeah. Interesting. How would, how would you do it? It's like, oh, I'm done. No. <laughs> 13, <laughs> uh, like, move, like. <laughs> no, not even that. So <laughs> I'll, I'll do the top set, I'll drop a bit mm. and do some uh, working sets with a lower weight. So not too much lower, somewhere like give or take like 10%. Okay. For me, that'd be the 160s right now. So for me- Or even the 150s. So when you say working set, someone that gets 13 reps with 175, yeah. is that not a working set? Oh, 100%. It is a working set. It's a top set. It's okay. a top set. This, so. is what, this is what I mean. It's your top set because that's all we've got today. Yeah. But well and truly, 13 reps is 
like that's 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 a working set kind of range, right? Like, what you so you go for 160s? What reps are you going for? I'm going to be going for 12 again. So okay. I would love to do 175 for like three sets of 12, right? You don't think that you got that in the tank? I don't. Right. Okay. So I would definitely get less than 12, probably like eight to 10. I understand that. Because I blew okay. my load in that top set. So 12 set. is your working set? Yeah. Pretty much. So 10 to 12. 10 to 12. But I think if I went in a second time, I'd get like under 10, like maybe eight, maybe okay. less. Yeah. Right. Because my strength drops a lot from that top set. Yeah. Right. That's why I don't do too many warm-up sets. Yeah. For example, and even my warm-up sets, I'm only doing a few reps. Yeah. Makes like sense. Like 48 yeah. reps to get warmed up. Mm. So I'm going to drop to what I believe I can get 12 reps but still Multiple be a times. struggle, yeah, which are gonna be the 160s. Yeah. I'll do two sets there. And even on the next set, if I mm. barely get 12, I'll drop to 150. Makes sense. All right. Yeah, or, or if I get only like 10 or so, yeah. I'll adjust depending on how many reps I get, how it feels. Yeah. Um, but I wanna stay like within 10% of my top set. Okay. Yeah. And obviously, this is Larry Wills, we're talking about the science to your methods works, man, so. Yeah, I think volume yeah. builds mass and yeah. strength, you know, that's yeah. the most simple way to do it. Yeah. And it's effective, you yeah. need to breathe at the wheel. Yeah. Um, more volume, more results, Dope. to an extent, right? They're diminishing yeah. returns. Yeah. You don't need to do 10 sets of dumbbells, yeah. for example. Yeah, of course. You know? Of course. Um, I think if you're gonna go beyond three working sets, mm. try a different variation, like incline dumbbell press, mm. decline dumbbell press. Mm. Don't just do like six to nine or whatever sets yeah. with the same variation. Yeah. Yeah, you know. the reason why I, I, I took you on that line of questioning is because my working sets, I like to keep around six to eight. Mm. So that's why I would like, even though I didn't get it on, on that one, I want like always, I, I like to hit it again because the first set is the feeler for me. I want to see how I go get uh, hitting it a second time, but yeah. my working set is going to be the six to eight. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, oh, so why would you, if you got 13, because I, I was thinking on my, <laughs> You know my way of thinking so right yeah. for sure for sure yeah. and if there are heavier dumbbells here yeah. Yeah. i'd like to do like the 180 yeah. 185 yeah. 190s for yeah. example yeah. try and get like eight to ten yeah, yeah. um but we're working just up to 175s yeah that's what that's that's what that was my top set today okay cool right. got it man yeah all right so i'll go to the 160 got him right here yep okay. Strength, I guess. Still kick it in. <laughs> yeah, I <heard> you. <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah, you like 30 something, late, late 30s now? Mid 30s. Mid -30s. Love me, man. Shit. <laughs> Trying to age me, man. Because <laughs> I know that first time is the feeler. And I knew what to expect that time, so like that's how it goes sometimes. So the second one would be better. It's either this month or next month. So there's tournaments very often in the U.S., arm wrestling tournaments, and that's where I'm finding the most enjoyment right now. Why are you enjoying it more? Is it the way that this tournament's structured, or what about it? So it's like a combat sport, yeah. right, but without the scuffs. Yeah. Right, you don't get the bruises or the bloody nose. Yeah. And also, I can have a lot of longevity in arm wrestling. Yeah. There are the top arm wrestlers today in their 40s, yeah. 50s, even yeah. one guy in his 60s, yeah. still at the highest level. So yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I can do shit forever. Yeah. Right. And but with powerlifting, yeah. bodybuilding, everything else I'm doing, there's a shelf life. Yeah. Right. You don't want to be doing strong and powerlifting when you're in your forties, fifties, for example. Your body can like, no, I'm, I'm done. Mm, mm. Right. So, but arm wrestling, you're like, you can still get better in your forties and fifties. Mm. Uh, so I love that. I can just do it indefinitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at a competitive level too, not just like, oh, do it for fun. Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. go at a competitive I can level. Stay competitive throughout. Yeah. Exactly. So that's, that's dope. What, Little muscles here developing, and my wrist got thicker here, and got like a, all kinds of de development in my yeah. forearms now, yeah. which I never had before, which is cool too. Yeah, it's like a bodybuilding aspect. And that's definitely from 100% arm wrestling. 110 <laughs> percent yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's uh, this works a different muscle. This works a different muscle. That's more like bicep. <laughs> I mean, if you use the death grip, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> I use two fingers, though. That doesn't mean it's small. That just means I'm trying to keep it sensitive. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Last 
last one you did there. Yeah. When you're training like that, when do you like a spot to intervene? So for me personally, I, as the person that could have intervened, prefer that you do the 10 <laughs> without that touch and just oh, finish yeah. it, as opposed to I then come in and then, yeah, maybe we squeeze out the 12, but it depends on what your, your goal is and how you feel, so. Yeah, so the way I like it done is, yeah. when it's on my neck, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want intervention. Yeah. If it's yeah. not killing me, yeah. Yeah. don't touch it. Yeah. And I have the yeah. same approach, whether you like it or not, guys. If you ask me for a spot, yeah. unless you're dying, yeah. I'm not touching it. Yeah, I'm similar. I don't see to reps. a degree, I'm similar. Yeah, yeah. I don't that's why, reps. like, for me, it's like, if, if it's yours, it's yours. Like, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not going to intervene. Exactly. You know? They get it completely twisted and think, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, you're going to intervene when they really don't need it and they want to put a weight on that really isn't their weight. Right. And then you get people that want you to intervene when they're struggling a bit. That makes no sense. If you got it, do it. You know, 100% like, agree. So yeah, so I just wanted to see how I'm you- I'm on the same page. Yeah. yeah. Don't steal reps, guys. <laughs> Don't steal reps. Don't man. steal reps. That's the worst thing on earth. There it is. Yep. How do you stay motivated? I always tell them discipline, right? So I want to ask you the same thing. How do yeah. you stay motivated? Especially you being the OG, like you've been in the game one of the longest. Well, I'll go ask you this. So for me, um, whenever anyone asks that, my answer is easy. I know it comes straight to, straight to mind and it's because I enjoy it. And it sounds so basic and cliche, but I train because I enjoy training. The question to you is you train for comp like, because you enjoy it, but for competitions, mm -hmm. those kind of things, having goals like that keeps you motivated. Right. So. The question to you is, if you didn't have the arm wrestling, the power lifting, the, the, the bodybuilding, do you think you would train with the same intensity or even at all? It's discipline that keeps me in the gym. So there's a lot of days I just don't want to go to the gym, mm. right? Um, most days I do, yeah. right? Because we're driven by things that feel good in general. Yeah. Yeah. That's what keeps us going, yeah. right? Setting, my, setting up goals like in competition, mm. the competitiveness brings out the best in me. Mm. And I always say that everyone watching, like if you're competitive, you're gonna see the best version of yourself. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> if I don't have a particular goal to work towards, mm. my training suffers. Okay. Right? Uh, I don't push myself as hard. Mm. The workouts aren't as intense. My diet starts to slack because there's no real incentive for me. There's no, not an incentive, there's no real drive for me to go that extra length mm. to push myself out of my comfort zone if I'm not being competitive in one way or another. Sure. Right, I'll just basically be trained to maintain. I always hated yeah. that word, maintain. Yeah. yeah. Or why yeah. not progress? Yeah. Why yeah. not train to progress, get results? Yeah. Train to maintain. I whenever heard that, I was like, ah, why just maintain what, yeah. what you have? Why not just get better what you have? Yeah. So that's why I always needed those goals, like competitively to keep me going. Yeah. When we were lifting just now with the dumbbells, that felt amazing. That's that's yeah. good. I love that. Like like I love lifting. You know. So that's what's always going to keep me. And that, and that's the thing. What my my method or my thought process with training can't go anywhere. I, I don't need to compete for anything, personally. I just, I, I'm always gonna love training, you know? So that, like, it's not going anywhere. That's why, yeah, 10 years, 20 years, I'm always gonna get in there to have my fun in my zone training, you know? So, but yeah, no, like, it's, it's interesting to hear different people's thought process with it, you know? Cause then you do get some certain people that have been competitive their whole life. Let's say someone like Hussein Bolt, for example, yeah. winning, winning, winning. And then when I'm done, I'm done. I'm not right. racing no more. <laughs> I'm done. Like I'm going to, I'm going to go chunga play golf now. Like I, I'm not running. I'm not doing any other training. So it it it, it depends on hmm. your thought process, you know. But very true. It's interesting.
saying to Jack, for example, when I, he was out in Dubai training, there was a period for a show or two, he didn't even do cardio. And he for, took first place. You know, he wasn't doing cardio. I mean, now on the Olympia level, he did. Yeah. Like he yeah. was building up each show, mm -hmm. like a little more intensity, mm -hmm. a little more diving with the diet. Mm -hmm. Like he was ramping up mm -hmm. the extremities of what he was doing mm -hmm. each show. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until recently he started doing cardio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, it's just not necessary depending on what level you're at. Oh, okay, check this. Because I remember when I was competing, I had a friend who also competed. But he said, like, when I said to him, oh, you know, I, I like, I'm having to do all this cardio, blah, blah. He's like, Sim, but I'm not on, I'm on what you're not on. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that. And he said, yeah. so with that being said, what is the difference there? Because he said, I literally don't have to do cardio. Yeah. Like, I, like, and he, he got, the, one of the most diced I've ever seen. Yeah. So there are several compounds off the top of my head, both oral and injectable. You could take that within, that from literally the first day you take them to the next day, from day one to day two, you will see changes without changing anything mm -hmm. in your diet, and yeah. your training, yeah. let alone cardio. Yeah. Right? Cardio is like the icing on, this, on the cake, right? Okay, yeah. Um, with <clears throat> training and diet being like the meat and potatoes. Yeah. So there are commas you can take that I've taken where, again, from day one to day two, you're seeing changes. Like, that's how powerful some of these compounds are. So if you couple that with strong genetics, yeah. like myself and yourself, yeah. then cardio becomes even less important. Yeah. Well, you know? that's the thing. I always tell people when I first, um, like years back, I didn't have to do any cardio. So all the people, like when people first started seeing me, 2012, 2013, zero cardio, I was just lean, lean, metabolism was on fire. But when you get to, and this might still happen with you even, when you get past your 30s. Right, I was hearing about this. Yeah, yeah. it's like, they, everyone says it and then you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. I'm there, <laughs> I'm there. And trust me, like, I remember like certain lines that I used to see, I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, and then it was literally because metabolism's slowing down. And your diet hasn't changed, I'm sure. My diet hasn't changed, man. I'm strict with it. Like, you know, I'm, I've, I've always been balanced, you know? So that hasn't changed. The only thing that's changed is age, you know? So it's like, I've then had to, I the that's why I do the cardio. It's literally because I want to stay in the shape and it's still hard. It's still hard to get to that diced, you know, um, yeah. even with the cardio. But maybe like, I'm still experimenting with how much cardio I want to do. Mm -hmm. But for me, that seems to be the only factor that I can change right now that can bring me back to being diced. Mm -hmm. You know, like diets, the diet hasn't changed. Yeah, we'll see. So <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to be facing that very soon myself. I'm approaching mm. my 30s. And I'm 28, yeah. 29 yeah. this December. So I got some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't yeah. noticed I, I, yet, I didn't though. notice it until, until I'll say 31, 32. Okay. So, yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. But circling back, we wrap up this combo yeah. to what you said about you, you after 20 plus years of training, do it because you love training. Yeah. Right. And still religiously, still consistent with the six to seven days a week. Yeah, because still with my two good. hours. It feels fantastic, yeah. Right. And it's me now, it's me, that's me. Like, I, I train, man. That's, <laughs> that's right. me, yeah, yeah. And I think people that are watching that are watching us for yeah. motivation, right? Yeah. Because they can't find something they enjoy doing as much as we enjoy the gym yeah. to keep them going, yeah. right? They need to find potentially something else in the fitness spectrum that's oh, not I'll just say this weightlifting. All the time. Maybe yeah, it's yeah. tennis, yeah. maybe yeah. it's playing ball, uh, maybe I'll it's fucking this. swimming. Yeah. There are so many ways you can get yeah. fit. For example, mm -hmm. if I want to do cardio, mm -hmm. My girl loves tennis. Yeah. I'll go play tennis for her. That's cardio. Shuffling back That's and cardio, forth. I'm sweating yeah, and yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. And I'll yeah. do that any day over yeah. treadmill, stairmaster, right? And the time flies, yeah. right? And you're having fun yeah. and you're burning calories. Yeah, yeah. So just don't, you know, box yourself into, okay, I got to do something to do cardio. No. I got to be bored to do cardio. No, no. Because that's not sustainable. You yeah. got to do something that you like to do, right? Like you. 100%. 20 yeah, years yeah, plus. You yeah. do it because you like to do it. I like to do it, yeah. So like if it's going to, you're going to look at lose fat, do cardio. Make sure you enjoy doing it. And there yeah. are so many ways you can I, do cardio. I, I, it's, it's funny. I, I say exactly that. Like, <laughs> find us the, the sport that you can yeah. do. I'm glad we can be on the same page with that. No, 100%. You know? yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Like, but it all comes down to the root of just, we're driven by things that feel good. Yeah. So you got to yeah. figure what that is for yourself. Yeah. What are you going to enjoy doing? And, and, in, and, and when it comes to fitness and, and freaking and health, it is, you do need to find something. So you can't just um, say, you know, I, I don't like weight training. I don't like what I think is cardio, right. I'm just not doing it. No, like, have a look, a big look, because like you said, tennis. Yes. Like, some, I've, I've seen, I've noticed a lot of people on my feed are taking up golf. People are finding things that they enjoy and, you know, they, they might seem like just sport, but no, they're, 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 this, these are activities that you're moving your body mm -hmm. and you want to keep moving. As you age, you want to keep moving, man. Don't become sedentary. Don't become just a couch potato. You want to keep moving. 
football, basketball, tennis, anything. Keep moving. Just, yeah. Yeah, totally so. agree. So I'm giving back the Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to find a way to get one of these. <laughs> so we're in Simeon 720 right now. Uh, Adam just got his Urus, which is a Sage 2. Oh, sick. Right? Oh, no, oh my, my, yeah. this is <laughs> Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm talking about your Urus. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a Stage 2, so it's got the exhaust and tune, and it's been lowered as well. So that's at 800 horsepower. Sounds amazing. It's fast as hell, man. Like, it's, it's a night and day from the stock. Night and day from stock. Oh. Like, I don't even think I'd enjoy it driving stock after that. That says, that says it all right there. And it sounds <laughs> insane. I love it. I love it. Like you get addicted to that sound. Oh, definitely. Right. Definitely. And I have a Tesla. When I drive a Tesla, I don't really look forward to it because there's no sound. Yep. And being a car enthusiast, I just like cars that have unique sounds, especially when they're modified. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, there's a bit of a compromise there with the Tesla. And this, I'm imagining, sounds even better because this is yeah. stage three. This is stage three. Yes. This yeah. is 940 horsepower. To the um, wheels, right? Yeah. It's got, uh, what's his name? So, unobtainium pipes. It's got the uh fab speed exhaust okay uh what else has it got it's got novikov um, no, um novitec springs for the suspension yeah oh wow novitec springs suspension upgrade too wow yeah okay um what else um i've actually got i don't know how to pronounce it properly is it the wise tech yeah dump valve thingies uh the blower files yeah yeah the blower valves i've got them in there as well but i don't i actually had the um the uh cold start deleted on this so when i used to live in an apartment like when they tune it, they can delete your cold start. Did you know they can do that? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't know yeah. that. So they took away. That has a crazy cold start, and Shan hates it. <laughs> Shan absolutely hates it. It scares people when you're you're at the car park and you start it up. So this actually had the cold start deleted because when I lived in an apartment, it would set alarms off. Oh wow. Yeah, you know. So now there's no <laughs> loud cold start. You know. Oh, that valves. Yeah, the red limiter on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not even 3,000 RPM. <laughs> <laughs> That's like 30% throttle. Nuts. That's yeah. so good. And this runs 940 wheel on pump gas. Yes. Wow. I, I can put, I can put, um, ethanol over Yeah. And I have done it before, but it's few and far between where you'll find it. So, you know. Ethanol? Yeah. You'd, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was contemplating doing that or not, but six set up, man. Hell yeah. Uh, I do have a 720 Spider right now. Yep. Uh, that's currently in and the I shop. I can't wait to see. I thought you were going to bring it today. I was excited. Oh, you know. Believe me, I was excited. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for you to just. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I wasn't even waiting for you to message. I was, I was hoping to hear it. Like, I was just hoping to hear it come down the world, and I was going to open the gate. Oh, you know, man. but yeah. Look, bro. Mm -hmm. I I saw the coupe making 850 wheel for those who don't know in Dubai for about eight months or so. Love that car. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Question though, did you experience any yourself? No, I didn't okay, experience any. I, in eight I, months, I, I'm driving every day. I, like I've told you before, I had a 570E for three years. I've had this car for two years. That's five years of McLaren ownership. I, I drive my cars every day, daily driving. I've been fine. And I've done rallies with uh, McLaren owners who, again, everyone has their little issues, but again, the car's frigging fine, man. You and know? I, I think some exaggerate how big the issues are. Like, they're small issues and they're making them big issues, right? Sure. And I also think a lot of people have supercars, they don't drive the supercars as they should be driven. Yeah. When they're sitting parked in the garage, not being driven, or fluids getting cold. That's very right? true. That's and, when people and, run into problems. And I think that's not people don't consider. That's very true. And, the, and the, maybe the reason why the people that I've done rallies with have not had issues is because just like me, they drive their cars. That's why they're not scared to take them on rallies <laughs> where yes. you do 3,000 miles in a <laughs> week you know exactly. so they drive the car so that might be the, the differentiating factor that people are have their um cars in the garage all all freaking month and then drive it once on a weekend and then something goes wrong yeah. i want to go on a rally with you one day yeah. before you get rid of it i don't 100%. know you 100%. got baby now i don't know how. i've done two two no hey no no i'm doing rallies for life <laughs> you know? man. i'm doing rallies for life now, i'm taking this rally off because the rallies that i normally do the, the, the latest one is starting on my, my son's birthday, so okay. I'm not doing that one, but I'm ready for life now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Always. Yeah. I can't So wait. definitely we'll go on one. I'll make definitely. sure the car's ready for it. 
Because yeah. car, that's well along with cars is that if they say it's gonna be ready Saturday, give it a week buffer. <laughs> so, I hate that. Though. <laughs> it's I never ready that. in time. They always tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. Right. Not the truth of what you need to hear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They'll say, yeah, yeah, tomorrow, and then yeah. a week passes. Like oh, you said, tomorrow, like yeah. a week ago. So I'll tell you a little, a little <laughs> secret. Though. This car has um, a dash cam in the front and back that I can access from my phone anywhere. Okay. So when they say, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> are you really working on it? You just have the screws on. The car sitting there. There you go. There you go. Anyways, guys, if you're into cars, you're a your head, comment below what you're driving. I'd love to link up with you. I'm super passionate about cars. Modern cars. Mm. Classic cars, mm. I don't have a clue about. It was, if, before the year 2005, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about those cars. Not now, there's thing. a couple super cars before yeah. 2005 that you might still be very interested in. Anyways, uh, we wrap up today's video. Yeah. Six session in Simeon's Mansion's home gym. Six, six, six. Ton of inspiration for me. Uh, being the same line of work as Simeon, I can't wait to have a home hopefully as big as this one day. I'm working very hard on that, hopefully by summertime. Currently, I'm living out in Malibu, for those wondering, uh, in an apartment, uh, just so I'll find a place to live. And I'm loving it there, actually. You know, oh, it's really nice oh, there. Malibu's a fantastic area, so, yeah. You know, uh, but buying there, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah, not, not yet. Not, yet. not gonna happen this yeah. summer, yeah. I want a house first. Anyway, so we will see you guys very, very soon. If you know me, please follow Simeon. Uh, he's still pushing out fire content. Appreciate it. And that. we will see you guys very soon. By the way, if you want to see more car vlog content, um, I'm happy to do that. I met up with Alex Troy recently and Amelia Hartford, so I am breaking into that circle little by little, and I'm happy to make those kind of vlogs as well, either on this channel or on a separate channel. Let me know your thoughts. See you guys very soon, guys. Take it Peace. easy.